Hello everyone. Gigwego Scano. Agi Jangwa Gigwego. Jot Hiwaje Ot Gunonyo. Da One Dangwa Diogod. De En Ode Nio Jan. Helme Gunon de Guete. I hope everybody had the chance to enjoy the Easter holidays and spring break with family and friends. I hope many of you took the time out to come out and enjoy the annual community fair in Cataraugus a few weeks back. Let me start off by giving a special nyawi to everyone who helped organize the community fair and the many who participated in our annual community cleanup events in Cataraugus and Allegheny earlier this month. Enjoying and protecting Mother Earth and her abundant gifts is our shared responsibility. So thanks to all who helped the Seneca Nation community continue to do our part to ensure that we leave our community and our planet better for the generations who will follow us. We started April delivering a clear message to New York State and Governor Hochul that the Seneca Nation will not stand by and accept the state's backhanded and hostile treatment of our nation and our people. Believe me when I tell you, our message has resonated in Western New York and across the state, as well as Indian country. I recently traveled to the West Coast to the National Indian Gaming Association Conference, where I spoke with many tribal leaders from across the country. The eyes and interests of Native Gaming World are very clearly focused on what happens with the Seneca Nation's compact and how it could potentially impact other Native nations in their compact discussions moving forward. While at the Indian Gaming Conference, I participated in a panel on how the Indian Gaming Regulatory Act is not living up to the goals for which it was enacted in the 1980s mainly to provide tribes the ability to utilize gaming as a way to enhance our economic standing and provide for our people. First and foremost, much work needs to be done to ensure that Native nations and our people are the true primary beneficiaries of our gaming developments. And the Seneca Nation is determined to shape this process. As we close out April and prepare for the start of May, our compact negotiating teams continue to work and it's setting the framework for a negotiation that will have lasting impacts on the future of the Seneca Nation, Western New York, and the entire Indian gaming industry. The closing days of April have also brought a spring surge in the number of COVID cases in our region. Western New York has had one of the highest COVID rates in the state for the past few weeks and Erie County is considered a high risk area by the CDC metrics. The number of cases in our community has also increased hitting 39 active cases, 11 of which are in Allegheny and 28 in Cataraugus. This is about double the number of cases we had just a few weeks ago. Certainly not the trend we wanna see, especially as we head toward the warmer months. I know many, if not all, of us had a bit of COVID fatigue after almost two and a half years, but please, let's work together to slow this current surge. With numbers rising locally and across the region, we all need to take a little extra precaution when gathering with others and monitoring how we're feeling. If you're having any symptoms, again, please get tested. And if you've tested positive for the virus, please follow public health recommendations for isolating to help reduce any potential spread to others. Senecas can make Bluestone test appointments Monday through Friday between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. Appointments are available at Seneca Fire Station Number 1 on Route 438 in Cataraugus and the Seneca Fire Station on East Loop Road in Allegheny. These test appointments are for enrolled Senecas only. To make an appointment, please call 716-220-2442. Photo ID is required and everyone showing up for a test is asked to not eat, smoke, or drink for at least one hour prior to testing. For more information, contact Mike Gates, Emergency Management Director at 716-244-0820 or mike.gates at sni.org. Of course, and always, the best defense against COVID and serious COVID-related illness is the COVID vaccine and the boosters. The Seneca Nation Health System has available vaccine and booster dose appointments for all eligible individuals and age groups. In addition, the health system will have a special COVID vaccine clinic from 8.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. on Tuesday, May the 3rd in Cataraugus and on Wednesday, May the 4th in Allegheny. You can also inquire or check your eligibility for that second booster dose. To make your appointment, please call Kim Bradley in Cataraugus Health at 716-532-5582 or Terry Cowles in Allegheny Health at 716-945-5894. You can also use the online form at SenecaHealth.org backslash vaccine. 
In other matters, I'm happy to report that the first wave of service installations on our new broadband network in Cattaraugus have started. This is monumental as we work to finally bridge the digital divide that our people have been forced to deal with for far too long. I want to thank the team at Seneca Energy for their leadership on this important initiative, as well as our partners at DFT Communications for helping bring this utility to our territory. Installations for those who have signed up for a service plan will continue over the coming weeks, and we appreciate your patience as system testing and installation continues. If any Cattaraugus residents have not yet signed up for a broadband plan and want to learn more, please call 716-532-3131. I'm also happy to share that the Seneca Nation has been awarded two Build to Play Skate Park grants, which will fund the construction of permanent concrete skate parks in Cattaraugus and Allegheny. The first skate park will be located at the CCC, with construction hopefully expected to be completed later this year. The location the concepts of these skate parks will be determined through community input and fundraising efforts. To get this effort rolling, there will be a community meeting at the ACC on Tuesday, May 17th at 6 p.m., followed by a second community meeting at the CCC on Wednesday, May the 18th at 6 p.m. I want to thank our nation's transportation department and our community planning and development department for their work in securing these grants so that our nation can encourage our young people to build health and active lifestyles by creating a safe place for them to enjoy skateboarding and biking activities here at home. Finally, our May Council session is scheduled for May the 14th at 9.30 a.m. in the Allegheny Admin Building. Anyone interested in participating remotely again is asked to send an email to sngotome at sni.org with your name, nation ID, phone number, and the meeting date and time. Have a great weekend, everyone. Stay safe, stay strong. Donnie Hodiaite.